Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're gonna do, I believe it's look number, I wanna say it's four, four or five. I'm gonna go with four. So I have one more look. Um, after this summer series, I have a couple more things planned for the summer and they're gonna be pretty fun. So stick around and also please don't forget that all products are listed down below and please comment, like, and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. First, we're going to apply MAC Painterly Paint Pot all over our eyelids. And this is just a good primer to use for the eyeshadows to set on. We're going to then grab a Sigma Fluffy Brush and apply Peach Smoothie Makeup Geek all over the eyelid. Applying an eyeshadow everywhere where you applied your painterly paint pot is going to help with being able to blend out the future eyeshadows a lot easier. I'm going to grab Apple Teeny, which is also a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and you're going to apply that only in the crease. This is really the only eyeshadow you're going to be using. This one and one more deeper emerald eyeshadow that I will feature later on. But for now, you're just going to make sure that it's this Apple Teeny eyeshadow is blended out to your liking. I'm then going to grab a white eyeshadow. Any white eyeshadow will do. Um, and this one I use the white eyeshadow in the Forever Nude BH Cosmetics palette that I'm holding up right there. Then grabbing um, Shimmer Shimmer also by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that to the inner tear duct just to give a little bit more brightness to the eye and making sure that um, it opens up the eye since we're using a green color. Since I had mascara on from the beginning of my day, I'm going to just reapply another mascara. I'm going to apply the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara as a topper mascara. My base mascara is usually waterproof because my eyelashes are so straight, so I tend to curl them and then use a waterproof mascara, and then I apply a topper mascara, which is just going to help with the volume. And this Better Than Sex Mascara is really amazing for that. I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix Foundation and I'm going to apply that anywhere where I would usually highlight, which would be under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on the center of my forehead. I'm going to uh, grab Milani Luminoso Blush and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to go ahead and apply House of Lashes in Iconic. For some reason, I decided to just apply one eyelash and then move on to applying my lipstick, which is the Wet n Wild Pink Lipstick. Again, the exact name will be listed down below. To top that, I'm going to add Pink Tiara. This is a whitening, lightening lip gloss, also now named Gerard Cos Cosmetics. A lot of YouTubers have this type of lip gloss now. What's great about this lip gloss is you're able to use it at night because of the light and it has a mirror so it's easier to apply. Last but not least I'm going to apply the other eyelash also from House of Lashes and once I have my eyelashes on I decided to add a little bit of more depth into my eyes by applying Emerald from the Amrezi palette. Amrezi or Amrezi, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce that. And I'm just going to apply that in the crease with a pencil brush just to add a little bit more depth. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.